All right, I'm turning left on Finley. This road used to be red brick. It was a red brick road that came up here. And I'm turning left on East 2nd Street. This is the street I lived on. And there is the alley. And there is our house. Right there. There was a lady there. Like Louie and Mary lived there and they had a big dog. Kim's friend Lisa Hodge lived there and Pam Volgamore lived there. Um, there's where Gene Carnes lived, right across the street there. Um, this is where I wrecked the Evil Knievel bike, right in front of this house. Right in front of this house. I dumped it right there where that car is. Uh, this is where my friend Kevin lived. I also had many bark <laughs> bike wrecks right on that hill there. Right there, coming down that little thing. <laughs> uh, had a friend who lived there. That is the alley that goes back to our house. There, goes right straight through there. Um, there used to be a house right here. There was no alley there. That goes all the way back through to our, our back alley, but there used to be a house right there. And that was the house where the guy who shot the black people on the other side of town lived. And um, I was walking by, and the FBI just didn't even get me out of the way. They just took over that house. It's really odd. Right there. Can't see it, really, is the steps. I'll show you that here in a second. But this, that building right there is the Mead Corporation, and it runs all the way down, all the way down that alley. The Mead Corporation runs for blocks down that alley. Right here is the stairway. That's the stairs that go down there. So there you go. These, all this was, this brush wasn't here. You could walk right up to the edge of that wall. It was so you can see down below there, but that the bars. This building coming up, this was not here. This was all part of the wall looking down at the street. This building was built in the 80s sometime. Okay, so that brings us back around to the alley where I sent that one picture from you there. Is that so now you see that the Mead Corporation is back there. This is the alley. Uh, we had some friends here, these two, I can't remember their names, they were two young girls about between mine and Kim's age. They would stay with their grandparents here and we would hang out with them. This, this little patch of, this is the, where I said back over there on the other side, I said this is the alley. This right here was the alley that went all the way through to that other side. That patch of, of, uh, that patch of concrete right there, that was, that was a carport that Dad built. Um, right on the other side of that over there was, was uh, a tin shed where Kim and I kept that puppy that we, that we found for a few days. But all of this, I mean, I'm driving that picture of me and Kim and Tim. Like, right now I'm parked where the car was parked, and Tim is standing right here. And Kim and I are, are inside there looking the other direction. The picture's being taken from this way. And so, yeah, none of this was there. This is all grown up. That tree, that tree you see right there was just a tiny little thing when we lived here, and now it's taken over. And then this, the house, that's the window, that, the bathroom window that Tim busted when I got locked into the bathroom. Um... Oh man, yeah, I wish you could see inside the house, I really do, but this is, none of this greenery was here at all, none of it, and 
and there's our front yard. That brings us full circle. Right there's where I got stung by the bee on my fifth birthday. Right there. You used to stub my toe all the way up and down that block. Alrighty. Oh, and Red and her two albino boys lived right over there. Um, now the... Yeah. Not this first house, but that second house there. Right there. Okay, I'm gonna stop for now.